Once you've located items in the web of science that you want to save, you can export them from the database in several ways. You'll find options to export on the search results page beneath the export button. These choices are also available on every record page and in the marked list. No matter which type of export you choose, you'll be extracting bibliographic information only and not the full text of the articles you find. If you want the PDF of a document, use the links marked Full Text, which will connect you to the resources available at your institution's library or directly on a publisher or repository website. These may be customized and look different for your institution. Or you can download and install the EndNote Click Browser plugin to help connect you to full text. Learn more at click.endnote.com. For standard exports, you can extract up to 1,000 records at a time. You can select a few records at a time moving through the pages of results. You can either export them right away or add them to your marked list and export later. You can select an entire page of records at a time, or if you want to export results in bulk, don't select any records. Click the Export button and enter the range of items you want to include in the export. Let's first take a look at the data you can export, then we'll look at what you can do with it. When I choose to export items, I have several data groupings to choose from. Choosing Title, Author, Source, I have all the information I need to make a complete reference if I decided to cite this paper later in a bibliography. Plus, I can add the abstract. If I choose Full Record, I have all the fields from Author, Title, Source, and Abstract, plus additional information about the authors, their affiliations, funding acknowledgments, and more. Now let's look at the export formats you would use for different purposes. Basic options are available for printing and saving plain text lists of records. Store your references in EndNote. Web of Science offers seamless, direct export to both EndNote Desktop and EndNote Online. These enable you to save references for later citing and sharing. For this example, I will select the records I want to export, then choose EndNote Desktop. The records are automatically downloaded to my library, and I can begin using them. If you don't use EndNote, indirect export is also available for other reference managers. If you don't see the name of the reference management program you use on this list, select RIS, Other Reference Software. This option will save your results as a tagged data file that you can import into another program. The help file in your reference management tool should have information about uploading the saved file. And if you use the LaTeX document formatting program, you can export references in BibTeX format as well. If you want to export your results to a spreadsheet, choose Excel or tab delimited formats. If you need to export large amounts of data from the Web of Science for other reasons, we have API web services available. Contact our support teams for more details. And lastly, if you use Insights, Benchmarking, and Analytics for analyzing Web of Science publication data, you can export a custom set of records straight to Insights. Be sure you've signed in and choose Insights from the Export menu. Give your data set a name. You'll receive an email confirmation that your dataset was uploaded, and you can then access it right from the Insights interface. 